Hi, it's Paula from Paula Quilting. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I'm recording from my bedroom in hope that you will not hear so much of the noise due to the heavy machinery operating just outside of my house. <laughs> but if you do have some noise, I, I do apologize. So what we have today is an update on my odd block work I'm doing for Southampton uh, Sewing Social Group. So you should remember hopefully the quilt I've made before, which is this one. Uh, other way around. Lovely, quite big quilt came out from this with lots of lovely blocks. And I did say I've got plenty more left with, from which some I have left for something other than a quilt because I was worried that, you know, if you start washing it uh, and using it, those blocks may not necessarily handle very well that abuse. <laughs> well, we, we hope the quilt will be used very much because that's what we want, obviously, from the quilts. So that's one quilt. So I did make a second quilt from some of the blocks. Uh, this one I wasn't um, kind of adding any sashing, I literally just linked all of those eight and a half inch blocks uh, together but I did make up some blocks uh, to kind of fill in the gaps because I didn't have enough for this size of, it's quite nice lap quilt. So um, some of you may recognize some of the blocks like this one from my uh, other tutorial about wonky triangles. Uh, there are some nine patches I was testing before, how to do it very quickly, so that's from the tutorial as well. Um, there were some sample blocks I did from very, very small squares, so I kind of went through my orphan blocks box and I've added everything uh, which kind of would match with that quilt. And this is what we've got from it, like I said, nice size lap quilt, uh, just uh, quilted with this normal foot with some wavy uh, design, holds very nicely and that's the back of it. So that's the second quilt done. And from the remaining blocks, I have made two bags to put those quilts inside, you know, kind, kind of kind, uh, comes with the packaging. I used the method, f uh, the same method I've showed you in one of my tutorials about the bag for another uh, charity project. I just made it a bit bigger. So uh, the pieces for this bag were, uh, 90, you know, before I stitched it together, 19 inches high and 20 and a half wide. And that gives me this nice big bag. Uh, to put those quilts inside. So that's the one side and that's the second side of that quilt. For the sides to, to kind of make it a bit bigger to the side I needed, I've added strips made from the uh, scraps on the counting tape. So they kind of, what, what I've used that measurement as to box it up at the bottom so then the bottom is also strips from the counting tape. So it kind of all linked nicely together. There is a pocket inside, same as in the other tutorial. The handles I have made, uh, funny thing is how we don't want to throw away anything we have left over. So uh, again, in one of the previous tutorials, I showed you how I made half quilt as you go process for my uh, flannel uh, quilt. And then I've added backing to it from another scraps to make it double sided. So when I was squaring up that quilt, I had a quite a big of pieces because that quilt was not very, very square. So I kind of, when I cut it out, that rectangle out of it, I had a quite big pieces all around. So I kept them. <laughs> I didn't know what I would need it for, but I kept them, you know, for future. And I basically made uh, straps out of those uh, uh, scraps. So I cut uh, 24 inches long uh, by one and a half inch wide. And I just used ready-made bias tape to kind of finish off both of the sides uh, in that like mustard color, which actually fits nicely with the rest of the blocks. Uh, so they come, in, you know, they, they're fitting, I think, quite great. And that's the one back. So, like I said, double-sided. All of those blocks, which I was worried how they were fair in the washing, have come to the bag because obviously the bag is not going to be washed as often as you would wash the blanket when you're using it. So that's the second bag. I did wash them, so they are ready to be uh, donated. They've been washed and they are ready to go. 
Uh, I did wash it on delicate program, very short, very del delicate program with lots of color catchers <laughs> with the quilt. And then I did put it through the uh, tumble dry as well on delicate program, not too long. But they came out, you know, dry straight away. I didn't leave it like, you know, a little bit damp to dry on the, um, because again, I like to test the items I made that you can just, you know, put it in the washing, put it in the dryer and take it out and use again. I do not make things which are, oh no, don't do this or don't do that with it. Because I just think that if you, if you create things like that, and there are occasions where you should or where you do things like that, but for everyday use, the things I'm doing, they should be easy to maintain. I think then the people will use it more often and that's why we're making the things we do. So, uh, I'm not making the heirloom pieces, I'm just making things people should be using. So again, washed, ready to go, and the, the quilts are going to be nicely packed in it uh, to be delivered to the, well, wherever they go. The, the conversation with the group was that we'll possibly uh, choose uh, charities who are working within the hospital environment where a lot of people who have been in that group are from, uh, so they can uh, you know, either raffle it or maybe they have some sort of tombola, so there will be prizes for, for that group for the Christmas, so they can you know, raise some money uh, and use them where they need them. What I've got left from that project are some blocks where were, which were crocheted. Now, I do crochet myself and I knit myself. Okay, some were crochet, some were knitted, so there are two types of here. I've got eight blocks of those, and if any of you have any idea how can I use them up, um, what could I make out of those things, please comment below. So if I got some good ideas before, you know, we, we kind of pass those ones over, I will quickly finish off something and I will give you another update. They're really nice blocks. I just, you know, I've never used um, them for a quill before. So I'm not sure how they will fare there. Uh, I don't know, maybe cushion cover, but then how would you think I should link them? Just, you know, give me some ideas and then I can work on it. <laughs> So that was just a quick update instead of tutorial today because like I said um, I've got some work happening outside of my house and it's very difficult to find the time and space where I can record. <laughs> uh, but I do have a few uh, quilts finished to show you in further tutorials. So please bear with me and uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.